guys, thanks for joining for another Friday shave. Yay! The weekend's still here. <laughs> Wish me life away. How you doing guys? I hope you've had a great week. I hope you've had some great shaves. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Take a look around. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment. Right, what we're gonna use a much needed <laughs> cold shave. That's exactly what we're gonna have. Right. Raises a choice, a gift, the head's a gift of um, Brian Foley, friend of the channel, and his friend Callum. Thank you so much, guys. I finally got around to using it. This is a, a copy, if you like, of the Gillette old type. Look at the profile on that, guys, and it's an open comb. Now, I haven't got a... Um, original Gillette old type they, they, they've got to be a hundred just over a hundred years old now and I haven't found one yet I'm, I'm still looking and I decided to put my halo UFO handle on it because they just sent me the head right the blade in there today I'm using first use I've used one before but it's been that long I can't remember what it was like and I can't get the base plate off there you go <laughs> I'm using a Lord Cool See where we're going with it? That's the wrap and it's in single wrap. And what I like about these blades, guys, is no glue. No glue on it whatsoever. And it's Swedish, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> it's made in Egypt. Why do I think it's Swedish? And it's super stainless. It's the heat, guys, trust me. Can't think straight. Right, there we go, nice and tight. Plenty of overhang to worry about, as you can see there, guys. There's the blade exposure. It's all lined up nice and nice. What we're gonna shave with, we are using, as you can see, the thumbnail, the cube. And this is the ice cube. Phoenix Artisan Recruitments, PAAA, the original cube. And this, this is the ice cube. They do, th no, they do more than three. But shaving time has just got restocked. If you want one of these guys, they do a, a an original unscented, they do a menthol, and they do the ice cube. They've just restocked. So if you fancy one of these, take a look. And if you do, put in my discount code. It's Chris5608 at the checkout with the discount code, and you'll get 10% off. Just restocked. I had to wait months for this. <laughs> right. Brush I'm going to use in going with the cool theme is the Yaki Everest or Everest. Is that a bit bright? And it's a 24mm synthetic knot. It's a beautiful brush. And the cube, sat the juggler. This is the box it comes in. Beautiful artwork. That's one thing I love about PAA is the artwork. And I think we have, yeah, we do. There's the ingredients, guys, if you want to pause it. So without further ado, let's get rocking and rolling. Nice soak. I'm not going to rub it into the skin or anything. I'm just going to face lather, make sure I've got enough on. Well, the heat in the UK, guys, has been unbelievable and I'll get into it I'll tell you about my week because I did promise you that I'll tell you what happened to me on Thursday my eyes are going already just wet the brush I haven't soaked it I'm just going to wet it and if we need to we'll go back to the cube two flicks not three I want to keep a bit of look Moisture in there to uh, get the lather going. Drilling down my hand, that's why I'm flicking it. It's a good idea to keep your eyes closed when you're doing this, guys, because I've just got it in my eye. Blinded by the cube. It is a pre-shave, 
but you can you can shave with it as well. You can use it as a shaving. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Get it worked into the whiskers. I've never tried this head before, but I'm looking forward to it. I think we'll go with that, guys, don't you? <coughs> Tidy up a tad. Almost. <laughs> Making a right mess. Yeah, my eyes are going already, guys. <laughs> now, I've used this cube before, and it hasn't made my eyes go in. But they are watering, right? Get some cold water on the steel and the blade. Here we go, guys. The Phoenix Artisan Cube, Ice Cube, Razor Rock, <laughs> old type, and the Cool Blade, the Low Cool Blade for the first use. Open cold. Wow, that feels smooth. My eyes are watery. Can you see them? Glazing over. Good feedback. Nice feedback off the blade. Seems to be doing its job. Yeah, getting back to the week. One day, first day back in work. Exceptionally busy to what it usually is or what it needed to be. So I had that, I had the heat to contend with. One day I think it got up to about 36 degrees. I drink plenty of water. I keep cool when I can. So the heat wasn't really a problem. It was the volume of work. So anyway, it was a long day with the heat, heat exhaustion and everything else. Anyway, finished work. Me and Mrs. B, because Mrs. B works at the same office I do, we do the same job. Gets in the car. Looking forward to coming out, having a cold shower and relaxing, doing what we got to do. Anyway, gets in the car, comes out from where we park. And we're going down the road, just past the office where we're based. In Mould, in Flintshire. And we're going down the road and it's about probably about 100 yards before we got it's more or less a right turn but it's a bend it's a sharp bend and people come in the opposite way because there's another road on the opposite side on the left but people coming from the right normally stop because we have right away and then they carry on anyway i was going down the road Only about 20 miles an hour. And you have to go really slow on this bend anyway, because it's so sharp. And see it in the corner of my eye, this red car coming. That's not gonna stop. So I slammed my brakes on, and we were about, when she, this lady slammed her brakes on, we were, we were about that far. And the, the bends there, the slamming brakes on. Anyway, I started moving forward and like 
look where you're going, use your eyes. So as I'm going, just about to start the bend, she goes forward and T-bones us. I think she hit the accelerator by mistake, to be honest with you. But the look on her face was like, oh, and she reversed back and stopped. I got out of the car. She completely denied that anything had happened. She refused the fact that she had run into us. There was no bump. She didn't feel a bump. I said, right, can you please pull over? I need your details. My car has stopped your car going forward and you've damaged me door or doors because they hit rock. She hit right between, you know, the, the back door and the front door meet. I didn't do anything. I said, please pull over or I'll phone the police. Anyway, she pulled over. She came out. She said, look, I didn't do anything. There was no bump. I didn't feel anything. I was saying, look at the damage. She walked over to the car, looked at it, rubbed it, said, just a bit of dust on your car. How do I know that wasn't there before? I don't stop and block all the traffic because it was there before and nothing happened. Anyway, she, she gave us a name. She wouldn't give us anything else. So I said, right, I phoned the police. So I phoned the police. She went back in the car because I said to her, I phoned the police. Sorry guys, second pass. If you drive off now, you commit an offence. So she sat in the car, so she must have phoned her husband up. She said, I don't know my insurance details, blah, 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 but you should. Anyway, a husband came about 45 minutes later. With the insurance details and everything else. He was the nicest, but a really nice guy. So we got all the details, so I had to get back on the phone to the police and cancel the 999. So, yeah, so that's what happened. That's why I was completely pissed off on Tuesday. Pardon the French. It'd been a long day, my first day back after the, having the COVID symptoms. During being on annual leave. Still not 100% and then you have all the keys, so anyway, that was it, got the first day over. Got home, everything fine. And since then really, it's been purely the heat. Well, this is such a mild, but efficient head for an open comb. Mind you, you can get mild open combs. But this is really nice, really nice cold shade. Eyes of these down now. Nice menthol lenses. Mentholantin, here we go! <laughs> Mentholated scent. I feel like Vicks Vapor Rub. What's the other one you can get? Now you can get like a freeze, a freeze gel you can get now for muscular aches and pains. I think it's got eucalyptus in it. Yeah, so basically it was the heat. I think Tuesday it reached, I think it was 37, 38. Um, I think it was the same. Wednesday was about 37, 38. Nowhere. It, and the breeze that was, was warm. So you can't escape it. Yesterday, 40 degrees. 40 degrees on delivery. And I'm walking 10 miles in it. I must have drank it about two litres. And there was a lady. I just posted a lady's mail. And she came running out the door. She said, look, are you okay for water? Thank you so much. Joe, Joanne, 
I think your name is. I don't know why I'm saying that. She, she won't be watching. Her name was Joanne. She said, You're okay for water? I said, I would love a jug of okay drink, my. But could I have a, please have a jug of water, cold water for my head? And I'll tell you what, for those five minutes that cold water has gone on my head, it lasted me an hour and a half till I finished my delivery. So thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. I really needed it. I can say not that she's watching, but just in case she does. Here we go, guys. Third pass against the growth. I really like this handle. I like the slickness of it. I've had no problem at all with the grip. But if you ever do, if anybody's new to this way of shaving, you've got an Allen block if you haven't, get one. It's a great astringent. It's an antiseptic. It closes the pores after the shave. Just wet it, rub your fing fingers on it, and that'll give you the grip. So yeah, really appreciated that. And it's my day off today. I've got jobs to do, but it's supposed to be a bit cooler. And apologies guys, if, if, if the videos are coming up a bit late, I'm having problems with the internet again. It's not the laptop, I've had it all checked out, it's the internet. We have an absolutely crap provider. So we're looking into changing, going on to 5G. Should be a lot quicker. Because the upload of the videos, instead of three and a half, four days, because we're still on the copper, I look in the sticks. I'll be up a mountain, hill. And it was taking anything between three and a half to four days to upload a video. Yeah, three and a half to four days. And then I got it down through editing software. Not that I edit your videos, it, it was just purely to condense the video and get it uploaded quicker. I got it down to three and a half, maximum four and a half hours. It started taking over seven hours to upload and it's crashing halfway through. I've got to a point where I've had enough. So yeah, I've had a hell of a week. But it's been positive. And my condolences and sincere well wishes goes out to all those in Germany for the floods and in China. Have you guys seen on YouTube? Unbelievable. Um, what's happening to the planet? I don't want to bring negativity to the, to my videos because I don't like that and I don't want to repeat what's up you know I can't help it guys the, the devastation gets to me we don't ask for this and we're not prepared for it and I know I've got a couple of subscribers from China and, and a few from Germany as well, so I hope you, you guys are okay. And you guys in, is it West, Western, do you call it Western US, Western America or anything like that? With the wildfires? Guys, I hope you're okay because you've got all the smog and everything else coming over there, uh, New York. Jimmy, I hope you're okay. And it's coming over with particles in the air. I think it's covering Manhattan as well. So my well wishes go out to you guys as well. Stay safe. Yeah, the particles in the air, you can't breathe them in, it can kill you. And I moan about my week. How petty am I? 
people got all that going on. I'm practically riding the, 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 the cap, the head cap here guys. Very shallow angle as you can see. I have got the 30 degree, I'm practically riding the, cr the, the crap. <laughs> here we go! The cap. It makes it that little bit smoother. Get the last of the scragglers, that's, that's a good job. Very mild head. The old type. Bit of water on the brush. Just for the pickups, the usual suspects. No, I didn't rinse off. I'm just went with it. Didn't need to rinse off for the pickups because there's barely anything there. So have you guys tried this uh, the Razorock old type? Have you got the uh, Gillette original old type? Let me know in the comments and keep your comments coming guys and don't forget your shaves of the day. I'm thanking you new, new subscribers, I've had quite a flurry. Very, very, very much appreciated. Thanks for jumping on board, supporting the channel, helping it grow. I really appreciate you guys. Same as I always do with you uh, regular guys as well that keep tuning in. I really appreciate you. That's a nice shape. Blade was okay. Didn't feel the sharpest of blade, but it worked. It was efficient. It did the job just like the head. Fluffy towel. Thanks, Mrs. B. As always. I'm sorry if this goes on a bit, guys, because I am absolutely heat exhausted. Right, what am I going to go with? I'm not going to go with the almond block, with chains or anything. Osage rub, this guy's beautiful green colour. Mentholated. Little dab in the hand. Oh, plenty of sting on that. Skin could be sensitive with the, uh, the sun that I've been getting on it. Well, that's nice. Right, the balm I got last last week, Sunday was it, on the uh, the shopping spree. Nivea, fresh kick. That's got a kick on top of the uh, the cube, and there's the ingredients and everything. What it says there, guys. If you want to read what it says, it's got menthol in it. I'll tell you what guys, since I put that in a glass flask, it's a lot stronger than it is in the bottle. So if any of you guys have got any cologne or anything in plastic, I like to keep them in plastic because I love the original labels. It's, Sacrilegious not having the labels, but your products will last longer and they will smell different, they will smell better. Wow, that was a cold shave. <laughs> laser water in. Oh. Most enjoyable, most needed. I better put the top side of stuff before I knock it off. That is good stuff, guys, really. And it's got eucalyptus in it. Osage. Can't beat the Osage rub. Oh, God, I feel alive. And the cube. Cube was great. Razor Rock. Oh, what's it called? The Edge. <laughs> 
Let's go. Old type. Old edgy. I keep getting old edge in me in my head. The old type. Very very my but efficient. Blade was okay. In that razor, it could be different in another razor. Well, that's it. That's the shave, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a great week. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. If I don't see you Saturday, I'm hoping it's Saturday because it's my day off today. I'm hoping to get the head shave in, so I'm hoping to upload it. Internet pending um, for Saturday. So join me for the Saturday head shave now that my head stopped peeling. Um, yeah, if not, have a great weekend. Stay safe, guys. Stay hydrated and look after your sales. <laughs> I'm going. See you guys. See you Saturday. If not, I'll see you Tuesday for the Tuesday shave. Shaves of the day, please. Bye. <laughs>